So. We got five people. Oh, okay. Thanks. You rock, though. <laughs> All right. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. I'm Christian Brown. Most of you know me. And uh, today I'm doing my uh, speech on 9-11. And uh, it's called The Day a Nation Cried. So, um, anyways, uh, what I want you to do right now is just try to remember where you were when the 9-11 attack happened, when you first heard about it. For me, I was in the elementary school classroom because I was a little kid, and uh, they put it up on TV just in time for us to see the second plane live crash into the towers. And uh, the worst part about it was we had kids in our class that their parents were there because they're government officials kind of deal. But uh, luckily, none of their parents actually died in it, but they didn't know at the time, yeah. so they're crying and weeping, and it was really hard yeah, on them yeah. when it happened. Um, so that's uh, where I was during the 9/11, Hello. and uh, the attacks. Hello. We just passed the 15th anniversary of the attacks that uh, just happened here on 9/11, yes. 2016, and uh, there's still an aching in America from this event. Uh, just because it took so many lives and it was an attack on American soil. So uh, I'd like to try to pay as much home as I can to those families and the people that gave their lives. So uh, first off, uh, I'm going to talk, try to give a timeline in order of how things happened. So first, uh, that morning, about 8 o'clock, all these uh, several flights were scheduled to take off. And... Uh, Four of them were hijacked. Um, one of them was first used to take out the first uh, North Tower. And according to uh, Annie's history article, 9-11 uh, timeline of events, uh, the first plane, which was American Airlines Flight 11, uh, crashed in at uh, 0846 on Eastern Time that morning. And uh, within a minute, the fire department was there, um, and the police were responding. And then two minutes after that, the president of the United States was let know. He was in Florida teaching, uh, reading books to children in elementary school when he found out. And uh, people were trying to evacuate the towers, but um, nope, because nope. of where the plane landed, a lot of people in the upper floors didn't have a chance to get down, so several of them just gave up and jumped. Thank you. And uh, there's a lot of pictures out there of the people jumping. Um, yeah, I'm not in and then at uh, thank you. 10:28 Eastern Time, okay. the Northern Tower collapsed, and uh, it killed everybody remaining inside except for uh, two levels on the second story, where uh, Captain J. Jonas and several of his other firefighters and one lady right here that they had saved, um, they survived on the second floor because they were helping this lady get down and they didn't have time to run down and get to the base when it collapsed, so they were safe in that floor. And it took them eight hours to dig them out. And uh, so we're gonna step back a little bit. And uh, the other tower was also struck by a second plane which was the United Airlines Flight uh, 125, and uh, it crashed into the South Tower at uh, 0903 Eastern Time. And uh, after the first attack on the Northern Tower, they told people in the South Tower, it's okay, you can go back to work, this tower is secure. So people were starting to go back to work. Some were still evacuating, but they told them they could go back to work. And with that, um, they were in the building when the second plane crashed. Uh, so after it crashed into the building, now they have to evacuate these people that they just told were okay. And not everybody in the building knows what's going on. So a lot of people sat around and waited for it to happen and never got out in time because they didn't realize what was going on. And uh, that tower collapsed at uh, 09.59, yep. which was about 28 minutes okay. before the Thanks. North Tower collapsed. 
and nobody in that building survived um, after it collapsed. Uh, unfortunately, this, these buildings were not the only attacks that day. Uh, we're going to move back about 23 minutes, and the second attack uh, with the third plane was on the Pentagon. And uh, according to the same article, 9-11 timeline of events, American Airlines Flight 77 crashed into the western facade of the Pentagon at 09.37 uh, that morning. And uh, we often forget that the, Pen the Pentagon was part of the 9-11 tragic events because of how deadly and tragic the Twin Towers were. But um, with the Pentagon, uh, it impacted lives there too. There were several lives lost, but there were also several that were near lost and it affected them in ways. Uh, in Jordan Ryland's article, Newswire's Journal, she gives an example of one man's who was impacted. On a, this is quoted. Uh, on his way to another meeting with a higher ranking officer, uh, Yantis, which was a gentleman in this gentleman here that was in the uh, hallway there, uh, Yantis got into an argument with him about the direction they were headed. And after arriving at the meeting just a few minutes later, American Airlines Flight 77 crashed into the spot he had been standing and arguing. So he just barely, by a few minutes, missed the attack and it would have killed him too. Uh, thankfully, uh, he leaped in, leapt into action and started to help those who were hurt and wounded. Uh, so he was a hero. And he's